Tonight, that race to help an island nation after that once-in-a-lifetime underwater volcano erupted off the coast of Tonga this weekend. The uh, situation in Tonga is not stable yet. We have limited access to information. Australia and New Zealand launching surveillance flights to aid their devastated South Pacific neighbor. These dramatic images showing that earth-shattering explosion, volcanic clouds of smoke and ash seen bellowing into the sky. A Japanese weather satellite detecting ash plumes measuring as high as 12 miles. We are preparing to launch our disaster emergency fund to provide additional relief items in water and sanitation and shelter and hygiene kits. And then really we're just waiting to get more detailed information to inform the scale of the response. And tonight, those before and after satellite images showing the volcanic island itself obliterated. Those waves and a blizzard of ash turning the lush green islands into a sludgy brown. At least one person has been killed in Tonga. I can't, I can't I, the words can't, I can't even got, I haven't got the words in my vocabulary to even describe how we're feeling at the moment. This is just a terrible shock. The full number of casualties remains unknown. The volcano first erupting Friday. And then again on Saturday, triggering tsunami waves that pummeled the island and raced 6,500 miles across the Pacific. High seas blamed for the death of two people swimming off a beach in Peru, the warning even reaching as far as Southern California. Seriously? The tsunami cutting off phone and internet lines for the entire nation of 100,000 people. The challenge is nobody is in contact with anybody on the island. Um, and therefore, we are all a bit in the dark about exactly the scale of damage or what people are experiencing. Now, what we do know is that the uh, ash fall has been significant and the tsunami waves have been destructive, but we don't know the extent of the damage.